Rekordbox lets you play music from streaming services that nobody has. There's a pretty big one missing. Spotify is one of the best music discovery tools for DJs. Wouldn't it be great if we had our Spotify playlists in Rekordbox so that we could DJ with them? Well, fellow Waveform Blender, with a bit of sleight of hand, we can make it happen. And stick around till the end because I'm gonna show you how you can do this whole process automatically. The first thing we need to do is sign up for a Tidal account. Head over to tidal.com They've normally got a free trial that you can sign up for, so you can try it out before you commit to paying any money for this. Fill in all the details, and once you're done, return to Rekordbox. Add Tidal to Rekordbox so that we can see it in the left-hand panel here. To do that, go into Settings, View tab, and then make sure Tidal is selected here. You can then come out of the settings. You should see a very small login button. Click on that and enter your Tidal details. Once you've logged in, you'll be prompted to return to your Rekordbox app. So click Allow on that dialog and then switch back to Rekordbox. Rekordbox should now load your Tidal library. At the moment, it's as empty as the promises my mother made me as a child. You're going to be a famous YouTuber one day, Sonny Jim. Chris, I have to manually add all my Spotify tracks into Tidal now. Yes, no. <laughs> this is where the next trick comes in. It's a service called Tune My Music and it allows you to transfer playlists from one music service to another. And even better, it's completely free. I created this playlist in Spotify that I want to import to Tidal so I can use it in Rekordbox. Head over to Tune My Music and click the Let's Start button. Do you love account linking? Well, good news because you've got more to do here. First, we need to select the source for our playlist. That's going to be Spotify. Next, you'll get prompted to either load all the playlists from your Spotify account or pay specific URLs. For this, I'm just going to load everything. You can choose as many playlists as you want here, even stuff like favourite artists or favourite songs. But we're just going to import our 2AM Wub Loopers playlist. Click on Select Destination Next, choose Tidal. You'll get redirected to Tidal, just put in your login details and then you'll get taken back to Tune My Music afterwards. The final step is to just click this button, Start Moving My Music. Depending how big your playlist is, this might take a little while, but that's it. We can see it's successfully moved all the tracks. But let's head back to Rekordbox and see if they're in there. If you had Rekordbox open while you were doing that, you'll need to click this little refresh icon next to Tidal here. Now we need to navigate into our playlists. So click on the little arrow to expand, My Collection, and then Playlists. And you'll see right at the top there, we've got our 2AM Wubloobers all ready to go. It is very tempting to do a double drop of those two. There's a few things to watch out for here. Sometimes it doesn't match every track perfectly, like a drunk interior designer. This can be due to things like the track being available on Spotify but not Tidal, or being named something slightly different. The good news is, Tune My Music will show you what tracks it's not been able to match. There can also be the odd occasion where it matches a track with a similar name, and you end up playing Dolly Parton in the middle of a Gabba set. If this does happen, there's two things you can do. You can either go into Tidal and manually try and find the right track, or two, you can not bother. I generally find it works quite well, normally about a 90% success rate. I bet I can predict your next question. Do I have to do this every time I add something to my Spotify playlist? If you're a cheapskate, yes you do. But you can also upgrade to the pro plan on Tune My Music for about $20 for a year, which is well worth it, and set up automatic syncs that every day will check your playlist and then add any new music into Tidal for you. This is what I do, and it means every morning I can automatically have new bangers to enjoy. To make sure all your tracks transfer automatically every day, you'll need the pro plan. Once you've imported a playlist, you should see this sync icon here. If you click on that, it gives you options on how often and when to sync your playlists. You can change the frequency from daily, weekly, and monthly, and the time of day that it does it. I normally like to set this at the end of the day because it means it can do it while I'm sleeping. You've then got two methods here, mirror and add only. I recommend doing the add only option because if you've spent some time correcting some of the errors in the import, like incorrectly matching tracks, if you have it on mirror, it will basically just keep adding those wrong tracks over and over. All you need to do then is create sync, and that playlist will now sync every single day. If I add a new track to that playlist, it will be ready and waiting for me in Rekordbox. One thing to bear in mind if you are using streaming services on Rekordbox is that you can't edit the metadata for them. This can make it really hard to organize your library in ways that make sense to you. But there is a way around it. Check out this video next where I teach you about how to use Rekordbox tags to organize your library in new and exciting ways. And it works with streaming tracks and tracks saved locally to your computer as well.